Once crude oil comes out of earth it is in raw state and cannot be used directly in any way. It must be refined to make it into usable products. Depending on the type of crude oil, it is treated by different refining processes to turn it into many useful end products. Mainly these products are fuels, lubricating oils, waxes, chemicals, plastics and many other products used every day in modern society. The refining process takes place in three steps to change the crude oil into finished products. In this process the first step is to separate the crude oil into its naturally occurring components. This is known as separation and is accomplished by applying heat through a process called distillation. To simplify the process we consider one tower where distillation process is taking place. Crude oil is supplied to a furnace before the distillation tower, where crude oil is heated and vaporized and it becomes the crude oil mixture. The vapor and liquid mixture is then fed into the bottom section of the tower. The feed section is the hottest point in the distillation tower and can reach as high as 400 degrees C. Components that are still liquid at this elevated temperature become the tower's bottom product. Components that are in vapor form rise up the tower through a series of distillation stages. The temperature decreases as the vapors rise through the tower and the components condense. The yield from a distillation tower refers to the relative percentage of each of the separated components, known as product streams. Products from the distillation tower range from gases at the top to very heavy, viscous liquids at the bottom. In all cases, these product streams are still considered unfinished and require further processing to become useful products. Light products, light ends are further separated into propane, normal butane, and isobutene. This stream is often referred to as liquefied petroleum gas, LPG, and is sold as a cooking and heating fuel. Naphtha, could be blended into motor gasoline, but is more likely sent to a catalytic reforming unit for octane improvement. Kerosene is generally treated and used as jet fuel. Heavier distillate streams are also treated and blended into finished diesel fuel or home heating oil or are further processed in conversion units such as fluidized catalytic cracking and hydrocracking. The rooting 